Moto enables you to load Illustrator paths, which can be used in a variety of ways. It's important to remember to save your file in an Illustrator 8 file format in order for Moto to read it. Once saved, you can simply use the file open command to load the file into Moto. Although you can build any shape using curves with Moto's curve tools, it's nice to know we can simply load Illustrator paths when available. The paths can be edited after they're loaded and can be used for both direct and procedural modeling. Curves don't render a Moto unless you take advantage of the Render Curves option found in the Curve subtab of Item Properties. To convert curves to polygons, you can use the Freeze Polygons command found in the Geometry menu. You can convert the curves to two-point polygons, polylines, or faces. For this example, I'll choose faces. If your paths contain counters or holes, you can take advantage of the Make Holes attribute, which will perform an axis drill on overlapping shapes. It's important to select the correct axis for the drill operation to work properly. In this case, the curves are facing in the z-axis, so I'll make sure to set it to z. If we disable the subdivide curves with fixed spans attribute, we can manually adjust the curve refinement angle setting, which defines the spans that make up the resulting geometry based on the angle of change between spans. This enables you to gain control over the amount of verts created in the freezing process. You'll find the setting in the Freeze dialog as well as the Curve subtab properties. Once converted, the shapes can be edited as normal polygons. For this example, I'll use the Polygon Extrude tool to give the shape some thickness. We can continue to edit the geometry or simply render what we have. If we want to give the appearance of beveled edges on our shapes without adding additional geometry, we can take advantage of the Rounded Edge Width attribute, which controls which edges should appear rounded based on how sharp they are. Moto supports a wide range of input and output formats such as EPS, SVG, OBJ, FBX, and more. Be sure to explore all the options so you're aware of how the various tools and formats you currently work with can be used with Moto.